Hello everyone, greetings to you all. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is uh, Sean back with another astrology video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be uh, talking about a uh, particular term that uh, astrologers use. And that is uh, what they refer to as a stellium. Now, what is a stellium? It can be defined as uh, having uh, three or four or more uh, planets in a single uh, astrological house or uh, zodiac sign. So um, what, what that uh, basically um, exemplifies is that uh, somebody like myself uh, can be a sun sign Virgo and uh, they could have uh, three, four or more planets, uh, say, in the sign of Cancer. And even though um, their self-esteem needs are tied to uh, the service of others, um, as characterized by a Virgo, uh, since they have um, a great uh, proportion of planets in uh, Cancer, they're more of the type who um, are emotional, uh, they are sentimental, they um, have uh, ties to the family, they uh, are very nurturing. So um, that can be one example. There can be many kinds. Um, it all just depends on uh, where the uh, planets were placed uh, at the time of one's birth. Now it is uh, theoretically poss possible to have uh, more than one uh, stellium in a uh, natal chart. Um, I myself uh, have uh, a stellium in the 10th house. Um, I was born with uh, Saturn, uh, Mercury, and the Sun, all placed in the uh, 10th house uh, at the time of my birth. So basically, uh, I have a high uh, regard for uh, work and uh, success. Now, um, it, it all uh, really depends, uh, once again, on where the uh, planets are placed. Um, there can be uh, many combinations. Uh, usually, um, the planets that uh, most typically form a stellium are that of the Sun, uh, Mercury, and uh, Venus, because they're naturally, inherently uh, so close together. But um, you could uh, ha also have uh, one of the outer planets like uh, Jupiter, uh, Saturn, uh, Pluto, or Uranus or Neptune, um, all uh, in the same uh, stellium as well. So um, you, the, the more uh, planets uh, that are in one single zodiac sign or uh, astrological house, the more um, the, uh, the native is influenced by those uh, particular pan planets uh, within that uh, zodiac sun. So another example could be um, somebody could be uh, born uh, as a sun sign Leo, yet uh, they could have uh, three or four uh, or more planets in uh, the sign of Aquarius. So um, you could have so right there you could have somebody who's uh, very um, whose e ego needs are uh, tied to um, pride, um, yeah, self-expression, um, being uh, you know just being uh, able to stand out further from uh, everybody else, where uh, as they have. Uh, when they have uh, the stellium within Aquarius, deep down they're uh, humanitarian. Uh, they uh, are the kind of people who uh, highly regard um, scientific uh, uh, progress uh, for the betterment, betterment of mankind. They're very uh, humanitarian. Um, yeah, so you, you can have uh, many uh, variations. Um, yes, it jo all just depends, uh, once again, on uh, where the uh, planets are placed, um, the time of uh, one's birth. So, this, so that's basically uh, what a stellium is. 
Um, if you want to um, look further into the uh, subject, uh, you could always uh, Google the term. Um, yeah, but I wanted to uh, make this uh, presentation uh, for uh, the benefit of uh, those who are um, as fascinated by uh, astrology as I am. So there you have it. That's just my uh, that's just uh, my um, interpretation of the uh, astrological stellium. Uh, be sure to check out uh, many of my other videos on my channel. I've got uh, so much uh, material, and um, I'll uh, come up with uh, much more in the future. So stay tuned for those. So th thank you for watching, and uh, I'll say uh, peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you.